Well, we didn't have those kinds of pictures where they were scooping the snow. We've had heavier snows through the mountains, but uh, in the valleys, it's been a rain event. And yes, now our average high should be at 40 degrees. We've been in the 30s all winter, so now the average high starts to get warmer. The days start to get longer. And we have a winter storm that's more like a rainstorm sitting over us. I took this picture last night. It was really pretty. You could see the high clouds floating on through and the moon was so pretty. And now that storm system moved on overnight, but it has stayed all rain in the valleys. The east side belt route is just wet. We've had glimpses of sun coming through and then we'll see the showers pass on through once again. Zion has seen quite a bit of rain and some snow. You can see on some of those higher peaks in the Zion area. Area. Right now, though, it's trying to clear and it's trying to clear as well around St. George as that huge batch of moisture you can see moved on through the picture. We have this batch of moisture right here, these white clouds that are entering into the eastern parts of Nevada. That is going to slide on through later on this afternoon, and we're actually going to see a little bit of that mixing in with snow around 7, 6, 30, 7 o'clock or so through the valleys. So it may cause some slush on the roadways, and then once that moves on through, I think by uh, midnight or so, mostly just snow showers lingering in through the mountains, through the higher elevations, in through the ochres. And then tomorrow morning, a few clouds around, and then it's going to give way to sunshine. And I think Friday will be cool, but it'll be a really nice day. And we're not going to be talking about these big storms. So we have these uh, snow showers that have been very heavy coming out of Cedar City. There's that band of moisture that will bring us that one hit of rain snow later on this afternoon. Again, this is uh, diminishing, really just some scattered showers right now. Now, light rain right now in through Ogden, a little bit of rain snow mix around North Ogden. In the Salt Lake Valley, it's all rain on all major freeways. Just some light rain showers, maybe slow down for the conditions. No snow, but you just have to drive slowly. And we got rain showers from Provo down through Springville. If you head out of Springville in through uh, the canyons there, you're going to hit a little bit of snow. And then, boy, I'll tell you. Cedar City in up through Enoch. We do have snow showers here. Canaveral, just the mountains outside of Canaveral, we have the snow. Right now, heavier snow showers still in the Bryce Canyon area. And if you're pushing on Highway 12, you're going to encounter that snow down around Kodachrome Basin. So the winter weather advisory continues. The area is in purple. Now we're going to see an additional six inches plus in through the mountains as that colder air moves on through. But I think the bullseye is definitely going to be in the southern mountains more than the northern mountains because we've seen already that heavy snow. 39 degrees currently, so it is all rain in the valleys. Most of the valleys are in the 30s right now, aside from Cedar City. That's why we've got the snow showers in Cedar City. So that little band moved through and then that will stay off the coast and that is a ridge building in. All of the showers, this is where most of the activity is, pushing on through the southeast with some very heavy, heavy rain showers. So the ridge pushed east, it already starts tomorrow. We could see some high clouds over the ridge on Saturday, but as far as precipitation, we can take a deep breath, you can wash your car, and it's going to be until next Thursday, Friday, before more rain and snow comes on in. So. Rain snow showers coming in this evening, 41 degrees, and then once that pushes through, we are done with the precipitation. 50s will give way to partly cloudy skies later on in St. George. And then St. George, how about this? Are you ready for the 60s? That comes on Sunday as we round out January. 64 degrees next Wednesday will be the last day of January. Northern Utah, we get rid of uh, this system today. We'll have northwest breeze holding about 40 on Friday. On and off clouds over the ridge on Saturday, and then the sun really comes out Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, a little bit of haze coming in. Wednesday, if that storm starts to approach, we'll get a southerly wind. Temperatures will come up. Haze will go out. Let's hope that happens.